Hello, folks, and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean, and tonight we got another list for you. We're doing the best bourbons under $30. Let's get into it. So we recently released our best bourbons under $20. So if you haven't seen that, I will link that at the end of this video. Uh, in case you're wondering, well, why are these bourbons missing? Because they're in a different category. That's, they're under 20. Um, so that'll be at the end of the video. Just a reminder. But now we're going best under 30. So that's between the 20 and $30 mark. That's what we're looking at here. And let's go ahead and get started because, you know, times are tight. We need to save our money and find good bourbon at the same time. Can we do that? I think yes. Let's start with our fifth place. Fifth place, we got it's Benchmark Full Proof. That's right, we're starting out with a proofy gal. And uh, this thing will kind of punch you in the mouth. Not gonna lie, it's a little proofy, it's a little ethanol forward, but there are some really nice notes in this budget high proof bourbon. Um, on the nose, like candy corn, caramel, butterscotch, and the butterscotch note comes across on the palate as well, and that's one of my favorite notes. Also, very nice caramel note. And uh, you know, I like that uh, kind of punch in the mouth a little bit for a whiskey. That's what whiskey should do. So this does that well at a budget price. So moving along to number, we're gonna take this down. Moving along to number four. I mean, how could this not be on the list? Always on the list. We got Wild Turkey 101 and you know, if you don't know the profile, if you've never had this before, then maybe you're new to bourbon. That's okay. That's kind of what this list is made for. Those folks that are new to bourbon never had it. This is an excellent bourbon. Don't just think that this is a frat party, uh, you know, getting drunk when you're a teenager illegally kind of thing, uh, which, you know, we all have those stories. But this is an exceptional bourbon at a reasonable price. And in my area, unfortunately, it's now about $25, $26 cause you know, things keep going up, but still a great deal, great value. Wild Turkey 101, always a staple on any good bar. Pick one up. Moving along to number three. This is one that I have to thank Steven over at Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans for pointing out to me. Didn't think I, there was a Jim Beam I could like, but this thing is amazing. This is our third place, Jim Beam, single barrel. It's 108 proof. Uh, so we're sticking with a fairly high proof point. So if, you know, if you're very new to bourbon, maybe you don't start here, but you know, if you like that punch in the mouth, if you like the bold, spicy whiskeys, this is a good option. Uh, great option from Jim Beam. I love this bottle very much. And uh, it's our third place. Let's move along and see what our second place is. Now, this is maybe a controversial bottle, but give it a try. I know Texas whiskey is not for everyone, but if you like really dark notes, chocolate, coffee, dark uh, fruit notes like plum, uh, maybe like some grapes in there, lots of barrel presence, so you get the barrel spices going on, lots of oak. I like all those things. And the finish on this thing is just like coffee and mocha. I love this bottle so much. Uh, this is probably my fourth or fifth bottle that I've been through now. And uh, yeah, I go through them a lot. I love it. I think it's phenomenal. Balcones Pot Still from Texas. A great budget pour. Don't sleep on it. Try those Texas whiskeys. They're fantastic. Give them a try. Now though, to our number one spot, this was our best under 40 even, but it is under 30. Cooper's Craft 100. I just love this bottle. I love it so much. I love it so much I'm gonna pour some right now, even though I'm about gone on this bottle. But uh, you know, it's just, it's so freaking good. Let's get a little bit here. And uh, let's, uh, let's remind ourselves why it is as good as it is. You know, so it's 30 bucks, 100 proof. Uh, it's not bottle and bond, but you know, it probably could be if they did all the things to make that happen. But you know, 
Ah, your quintessential brown form and profile. You got a nice banana pop, nice rich brown sugar, caramel, uh, man, a little bit of cinnamon spice, nice oak presence. And the finish is just like, um, you remember sugar daddies from back in the day? I guess they're still around. Uh, just like nice, rich caramel, brown sugar. It's so good. I love this bottle. It is our first place. And uh, yeah, folks, if you have not tried the bourbons we went through tonight, go out and try them for yourself. Hopefully they are available in your areas. And uh, folks, if you did like this video, then please hit that like button. Also, hit the notification bell because YouTube tends to like not show you videos of people you're subscribed to. So do that, that's appreciated. Also here is the uh, other videos we've already filmed of other great bourbons. And here's the subscribe button, so please do that. And until next time folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.